Hey everyone, uh, it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, I just wanted to do one to kind of keep you guys up to date. I know it's been a while. Um, I've just, I've been sick. My kids have been sick. It's just been a fun time. Everyone just sharing sickness. Um, yeah, so I kind of wanted to make an announcement about some upcoming stuff. Um, and then I kind of just voice some opinions. Uh, so in about two weeks, I'll be going to uh, my first IDPA competition of the year. I'll be running a defensive pistol competition. Uh, and then uh, after that, I plan on doing my very first three-gun competition. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully everything will be in line in time. For me to actually compete, I got some changes I gotta do. Uh, optics are acceptable on the rifle, um, and I've got this stupidly large scope on my rifle right now, and that's not gonna cut it. I mean, you can't do close quarters combat with a three by nine by forty, you know. Um, anyway, so I need to, I need to get that off there. I need to get something else on there that, uh, that'll work. I'm probably gonna put a red dot on it or something. But I gotta get it on, get it sighted in, and get comfortable with it uh, before I go. And I've never competed with a shotgun before, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, I got two choices, really. Uh, I can compete with a Benelli Supernova, um, or I can compete with a Mossberg 590. I'm kind of torn between the two. Uh, the Benelli is mine, so I'm comfortable with it. I know it. I know it inside and out. I know how it shoots. Um, and so I'm thinking about I'm thinking about just running it. But the problem with it is it's a uh, it's a hunting shotgun so it's got that stupid great big 26 inch barrel or whatever it is I think it's 24 26 something like that I don't know um, that's a lot of barrel to swing around so I don't know but I like that gun the 590 uh, the five Mossberg 590 uh, is a uh, tactical setup. It's got the telescoping uh, stock uh, with the shorter tactical barrel. But I don't like Mossberg. And that might hurt some feelings. And I, I shot it before and I can't remember what happened. Something went wrong. It had a malfunction. Like a hardcore malfunction. Something came apart. I it, it, not like something flew apart and something that could have injured somebody, but like like the pump, you know, like I was racking the next round, like the, the pump handle kept going or something. I, I don't remember what it was, but it was something that you can't have happen in the middle of a competition. Um, my Benelli, uh, when I first got it, I, I did have one malfunction out of it, but it just needed to be wore in. Once I got it wore in, especially after dove season, it, uh, yeah, it worked great. No malfunctions, no nothing. You can beat the crap out of it. Um, but I'm, I'm probably going to compete with my 300 blackout. Uh, I just like it. I like the way it shoots. I like the way it feels. And I got to practice reloads, you know. So again, I've never competed with a, I've never competed with a shotgun before. So I'm trying to, trying to learn. Like, how do you quickly load a shotgun, you know? And it's, I've watched a couple videos on YouTube and stuff of like three gun competitions where they're doing, uh, they're loading two rounds at a time, you know, they, they grab they grab four rounds, you know, so you got like two rounds here and then two rounds here. You got the brass towards your thumb. <clears throat> and you just flip the, flip the shotgun over uh, and you load two rounds and then two rounds. And uh, so I'm gonna try to practice that and see if I can if I can get good, get good on that. Um, but it'll be interesting because I've never I've never got to do a three gun. I've always wanted to do a three gun. 
so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So look for <coughs> look forward to that. Uh, I gotta learn some more about some video editing and stuff. So my YouTube videos, they're not edited. I just record them and throw them online. So that's why there's nothing fancy about them. Uh, I don't even know if I have video editing software if it came with my operating system. I've not bought any, so I don't know. I'll have to look into it because I'd like to be able to take the, the high points of the competition and kind of mesh them together in a video and send them on their way. I'd like to do a couple different ones. Maybe do the, the pistol and three gun separately or do a, do a mashup of both. I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any insights, let me know. But uh, should be a fun time. Um, and anybody watching this video, if you know me personally and you want to come with me to the IDPA or the three gun, just let me know. Uh, you know, text me, email me, call me, whatever. Um, I'll even come pick you up. I'm always trying to get more people to go with me, get more people involved. Um, a lot of people always say they'd like to, but no one ever does. So if you want to go, I will come get you. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. And then, kind of want to throw some thoughts out there, because you know me. Every video I have, i gotta, I got to complain about something, right? So, this week's complaint is going to be about our youth. You know? And I love our youth. I mean, when God talks about the youth, God that always talks about, you, you know, highly. And, you know, our, our children, he says... Your children's are like arrows in your hand. You know what I mean? That's our that's our future. And if you if you can raise godly children, you know you can you can impact the world. Um, and that's kind of how I feel about it. But anyway, wow. So Wednesday uh, this week they had that student march out or walk out or whatever it was, where I think it was like twenty five hundred different schools across the nation couple hundred thousand kids or something like that. I, I don't remember the actual numbers. Uh, walked out for 17 minutes uh, to honor the Parkland victims. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, you know, I still pray for those people. But to organize something on that kind of level, right? This is nationwide. All these students walked out at the same time. So that had to be promoted by the teachers and the, the principals and the boards of education, the school systems, whatever. They had to have helped organize this. And, and I think I even heard that the Women's March helped organize the whole thing. And uh, I, I don't know if you guys know anything about the Women's March, but like go to their website and go read some of the stuff that they believe in. And it's, it's crazy. Like, some of it is just off-the-wall crazy. Um, yeah, go read that. Please, go read that. Because that's, that's who's helping our children. Um, anyway, they don't... I, mean, I, I love my children to death. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of raising them. I won't, I won't say the best. I, everyone can improve. Um, I wouldn't even say... I wouldn't even dare say close. And my children are children. They're, they're just like any other child. You know, they, they make decisions that aren't always good. You know, and they they have a very different kind of logic. And a lot of youth logic is based on what sounds good or what, the, or what is heard and what is heard commonly, right? So, you got all these, these kids out there with all these signs and everything. And they have no idea what they're doing. I, they might speak educated and all this other stuff and the media is just eating it up the democrats and liberals are eating it up you know because it's pushing their agenda but these these children really don't know the implications of what they're saying and they don't understand how it reflects or how it would actually impact our country um, and then you've got like I saw a video or this well I, I did see a video there was a there was a video where 
so these all these kids go outside and they got, they all got their signs you know talking about guns and, and how they don't want them and you know they should be banned and all this anti-gun stuff and then you got this one kid who's got a sign and it says guns don't kill people people kill people so the only pro-gun sign out there and there's a video that went viral on Facebook and you see the principal come and like confront this kid and like makes him leave the walkout like makes makes him leave the protest and uh, it's it's said that later he was he was either put in a cop car or they tried to get him put in a cop car I don't know um, and, and, and I don't know the whole story the video is like literally 15 seconds long so you have no idea what conspired before or after that section of video but that section of video does not look good uh, and, and if that's the kind of free thought we're promoting in our children then that's horrible you're manipulating the minds of young to promote an agenda uh, you know it's education they should educate right it should be unbiased right wing left wing it, it should just be facts you know it, it there's not opinion or emotion or things like that that should be put into it as far as curriculum you know goes and i'm not saying teachers should be compassionate and display that they're passionate or, or have emotion for the children no absolutely but like math is math math is numbers right so it's it's factual you know reading and literature and all that that's factual you know whether it's grammar or spelling or you know th these are things that are have definitive uh, uh, points or definitions or ideas you know that are non-biased they're they're just is you know words mean something you know this word means this blah 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 you know this this is compare and contrast th these are facts these are things you should teach these children and you know, science you know the laws you know as far as science and stuff goes periodic tables you know you can't just go based on emotion those things are rooted in in fact in science so uh, there's not a room there's not room that you should be pushing an ideal or a, a thought or whatever you know anyway That's just where I'm at. And, and these, these kids just... There was a picture of this this girl in high school. And uh, I, I, I guess... I, I don't think she was trying to wear something pro-gun. Uh, she was probably just wearing something for her school, I think. Anyway, it said Spartan on it. And it's got the Spartan helmet. And, uh, and, and forgive me if I mispronounce this, but uh, you know, she had the... Uh, maroon Abe underneath it and then she's holding a sign that's anti-gun and that's so ironic like she has no clue what she's done you know and a lot of people have probably completely missed this point but if she understood the Spartans and she understood what that phrase you know Maroon Abe what that meant she would understand how hypocritical it was to wear that shirt while protesting against guns and and so you know if you're watching this you don't understand what I'm pointing out just a brief vague history that I don't know all the details about I'm not a historian I'm not even high, I'm, I'm nowhere near highly educated but uh, I'll tell you what I do know so you, you know everybody's seen the movie 300 right the 300 Spartans sort of kind of a little bit of that movie is based in fact Right, so when Cersei's came and he's trying to take over the area, you know, and I don't remember whose army was what or, or what land they were in or, or whatever, you know. So when, when Cersei's goes to take over this area, you know, he's telling these Spartans like, "Hey, lay down your weapons! Like, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna conquer this area. Lay down your weapons!" And, and they yelled, you know, their response was Maroon Eight, which uh, is Greek, if I'm not mistaken, for "Come and take them." And so that's why a lot of the uh, pro-Second Amendment groups 
um, use that as a slogan. Like that is, you know, and there's millions of dollars in apparel that is pro Second Amendment made on that slogan. And here this girl is wearing a shirt that says this holding the sign that's anti-gun. That's as far as her thought process went. And I just... And, and then there was another one who was like... You know... Um, something stupid. They had a picture of a school, a picture of the White House, and it's something like Mr. Trump, you know... If your place of work is gun-free zone, like why is it mine or something... Are you insane? Like that, that's, that's, that's a special kind of ignorant. Like you've got to try to not understand and not know things to think that that's a factual statement. Schools are gun-free zones. With the exception of a couple states who have recently applied laws to allow you to carry on a school premises, you're not allowed to carry on a school premises. Uh, and in this state, North Carolina, you're not. And, you know, you, you can't. Like, police officers, and that's it. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a concealed carry. It doesn't matter anything. Like, you do not carry on school premises. So, there's school gun-free zones. And the White House, though it is a gun-free zone for civilians, you can't go visit the White House and, you know, carry a gun in there for obvious security reasons. But there is a lot of armed security at the White House. They have probably got surface-to-air missiles hidden under their lawn out front. I would not doubt it. There's probably quite the armament at the White House. Why do people not attack the White House? Because they know there's probably... A mild-sized army, heavily armed, in the White House. Why do they attack schools? Because they don't have the fear of return fire. So, if you want to compare your school to the White House, and you want to say that schools in the White House should be the same, which, okay, let's arm some guards and put metal detectors in schools and so when children go to school even that you know that kid that is to the snapping point where he wants to snap and go shoot up a school his first his first thought will be oh man I'm going to shoot up this school his second thought's going to be well how am I going to do that I'm not going to get through the metal detectors there's armed guards everywhere I'll probably get shot before I can actually you know accomplish anything you know, is it really worth it? No, I'll probably go do something different. And, and in my mind, that's how it would play out. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Anyway. So there's my, uh, there's my frustrations. Um, yeah. I've had so many gun debates here recently on Facebook that it is... I, sometimes I feel dumb and I'm not saying that the people I'm debating with are dumb people. I'm just saying, you know, some of the things that you have to go into detail about, some of the things and the points that you have to make are, you know, it, it just, you kind of look at it and you're like, how do, how do you, how do you get to this point? How do you get to this place where this is your belief system? How do you get to this is your ideology and this is okay? I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. Hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, look forward to some upcoming videos. Thanks. Bye.